Hey guys, uh, today we are going to see about Python modes. So in the previous video we just learned about Python tokens and now I'm going to teach you what are Python modes, what are the different uh, modes available in Python, how are we going to use it in our programming, all these things. Uh, in Python mode, okay, we have two different works. Uh, two different ways to work in Python. Okay, first one is interactive mode, and the other one is script mode. So interactive mode. So that is what we are going to see today. Interactive mode is nothing but uh, the place where we are going to type our source code. So here is an example we have given. So this is the place where we are going to type our program uh, command source code, whatever it is. And in this interactive mode, your programs will be executed line by line. So that is actually the use of interpreter, right? Uh, the difference between compiler and user pressure. A compiler will translate, will convert, uh, will execute your program at a time, at once, full program at once. And interpreter will execute your program line by line, will convert your program line by line, okay, to give the desired output. So uh, that that is happening actually in this interaction mode in Python. Uh, and uh, so we have to type our commands, source code, after this uh, Python command prompt. So this is what called Python command prompt three closing angle brackets. So this this will help you uh, to identify where you have, we have to type our program. So okay, always our cursor will be blinking only after the Python command prompt. So uh, this blue color spaces or the output. Okay, so only after your command prompt you have to you can type your um, commands source code. Okay, next how to open interactive mode. So you have to click start. Open all programs. You have to select Python uh, 3.7. Then you have to select IDLE Python 3.7. So this is the way. So this is how you have to open Python uh, interactive mode. Okay. And then what is the use of interpreter in an interactive mode? Okay. So here, once you finish your typing in this uh, interactive mode, after this Python prompt, we have to press Enter key to execute that particular single line. And once you press the Enter key, the interpreter starts converting the command, the source code into machine language. So once uh, your program is being read by the interpreter, it will convert that a particular Python programming source code into machine language. Okay. So once uh, it converted, then uh, the system will start processing your program. It will start uh, working on your input. Then it will uh, give the output. Okay, so the, even that output will be in the machine language zeros and ones. Okay, again the converter is converting this machine language code into read readable form that is our uh, normal English. Okay, uh, so that is what will give you the output. Okay, and then the interactive mode uh, will convert, will execute your program only if there is no error. Only when your program does not have any error and it is a correct one. It will convert your program and it, it will give you the output. Else, you will get the error message immediately after your program itself. Okay, so you will get it immediately. So let me show um, an example for this. So this is what Python pro shell. So Python programming uh, interactive mode. So in the first line, we'll be able to see the version of the Python and then um, the uh, what kind of version we are using uh, when it was introduced and then what kind of windows I'm using, whether it is 32 bit or 64 bit bit. And then the second line explains um, the copyright, I mean the license of it. And then the third line, we are getting command prompt, Python command prompt, where we are going to type our program. Okay, so let me type uh, some examples, 5 plus 5. I'm just pressing enter key now. So once you finish your uh, source code, you have to press enter key. I've got the answer, okay? So which means my program is correct. My source code, whichever I've given, is the correct one, okay? Now let me give some um, example which is not correct, okay? Uh, now I'm going to type like R plus 5. So this will not at all help uh, when you don't have any value for R, okay? So this is like our algebraic variable, uh, R plus 5. You can ask me, uh, it is R plus 5. If there is any value, you can uh, use it right so we are we didn't mention anywhere that we are going to use r in this program okay so what the interpreter will do it, it will try to add the character the text and the number which is not at all possible okay so let me press the enter key so we have get the error message over here uh, it is the error is name error okay and the name r is not defined which means it is identifier r is an identifier over here okay so in the previous uh, video like in tokens we have learned what is an identifier keyword all those things okay so um, r is not defined so we didn't tell 
the interpreter that I am going to use this R in my uh, program. Okay, so this is the error message we are getting. So in the, in the first case, our program is correct, our source code is correct, so we have got the output. And in the second case, it, it has, it is not correct, so it, it tells the error message. Okay, so and it tells you uh, where is the, in which line you have error, what is the error, all these informations will be given by the Python interpreter itself. Okay, so this is called debugging. Now, um, uh, let us uh, start and uh, go to the next one. So, using print function. So, how to use print function? What is print function? Print function is used to uh, display the output of any command on the screen. So, it is used to display any text on the screen or uh, you can, uh, if you want to get any output directly on the screen, you can use print command, okay. So, uh, this is what print function, print, open and close bracket. So, within an open and close bracket, you can type whatever you want, okay. So, here is the example I have given. So, print within double quotation, I am just giving hello world. So, whatever we are, um, we are giving within single quotation or double quotation or triple quotation, that is called a string literal. You remember that we learnt in tokens, okay. Uh, string literal. So, let us... Uh, you uh, try this um, code, print, open bracket, sorry, open bracket, um, within double quotation, hi everyone. So you just type whatever you want, well, so because whatever you are uh, giving within quotation, that will be considered as a string literal, so that will be printed as it is, okay. Now you, you can check, um, just uh, the word print is coming in some other color and the uh, string literal is coming in some other color, which means uh, the print is uh, a keyword, okay, and this one is a literal, okay. So by the color we can differentiate which is the keyword and which is the like uh, which is the string or whatever it is. Okay, now let me press enter key. So the answer will be the output is hi everyone. So whatever you are giving within the quotation that will be printed as it is, okay. So this is the use of print command, okay. So now let me do the calculation in print command, uh, print 5 plus 5. So press enter key, we will get the answer. So this calculation uh, can be done with um, without print function and with print function also, okay. So this is the use of print function. And then as it is a uh, case sensitive programming language, uh, it differentiate between uppercase and lowercase characters. For example, uh, print with uh, capital P and print with small p um, are two different items in Python. Like um, if you take a uh, print with capital P and small p, Okay, so this is a keyword and this is just an identifier. So let us check, uh, let, us, let me explain how it is working. So now I'm just typing with print, uh, double quotation, hello, closing double quotation, close bracket. So the output will be like hello, right? Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to use the same with capital P, P R I N T, sorry, P R I N T, open bracket, open quotation, okay. Same thing I am typing, hello, close quotation, close bracket. Now let me press enter key. So make sure, uh, just uh, look at this. I just used capital P instead of small p over here. I am getting the error message because it is considering that as a name. It is nothing but an identifier. Okay, so name is identifier here. Okay, so print with capital P is not a function. It is not a keyword. Okay, so while typing itself, you will come to know by uh, checking the color of it. So with print with small p is coming with blue color uh, and print with capital P is coming with black color. So uh, always um, our identifiers and variables will come with black color only. Okay, so this is the difference between um, uh, capital P and small p. Okay, so both are different uh, when come when it comes to Python interpreter. And to print more than one argument, it should be separated by commas. So let me explain uh, how to uh, use the print command to print more more values. Okay, so print open bracket hi comma. Uh, I'm just typing 5 plus 5. Okay, so now what will happen? Both the things. It will print the string literal and they, it will do even the calculation. So that's uh, two different, in two uh, different times we have done it, right? So hi everyone. Uh, this is string literal that has been printed as it is and the calculation also has been done. Okay, so now I just combined both the things together. Okay, now let me press enter key. So what will be the output? Just guess and wait. So once the result once as uh, displayed, you can check whether your assumption is correct or not. Yes, you are right. So, hi is 
uh, string literal so whichever i've given i just got it as it is and then um, the second part is 5 plus 5 the calculation part i've got as it is okay so this is um, by this you can give uh, you can give more number of arguments with a single print statement okay so this is what um, you can print more than one arguments at a time and then using idle as a calculator so how are we going to use this as a calculator so just like that uh, how we used in the previous example like print 5 plus 5 and instead of um, using print uh, without even using print function we can check so here is the number i'm just giving for multiplication so this is the answer so this can be used even as a calculator okay so and while using this as a calculator okay it is uh, just performing the calculation based on bed mass rule so this is um, in algebra we have both mass rule right same way here uh, here it is uh, using bed mass rule so whatever uh, we have learned whatever procedure we have learned whatever rules we have learned for both mass rule and algebra same will be followed here for bed mass rule okay so brackets exponents divide multiply add and subtract okay so first it will remove the brackets then it will remove the exponents exponents um floating point literals you remember we just learned this in tokens okay floating point literals are exponents that exponential forms will be removed and then the division it will remove the division multiplication addition and then subtraction so this is the way uh the idle will work as a calculator in this way it will work as a calculator so let so let us uh, start a program an example five star five close bracket plus open bracket 20 divided by 5 close bracket and then uh, minus 15 and then plus open bracket uh, 57 into p so this is the um, uh, this a uh, sum i am just giving it this by pressing enter key we will get the answer okay so this is the answer for this 185.0 so if you are good in algebra you can check it now so this is how the bed mass rule is working this is how um, it is being calculated the values will be calculated in python interpreter okay so this is all about uh, python interpreter uh, interactive mode okay uh, thank you guys we will see you in the next video bye